What's up guys? If you are looking for a fresh new bicep and arm exercise, stick around. Today we're going to be talking about the Zotman Curl. So what is a Zotman Curl? It was created and named after a strong man from the early 1900s named George Zotman. And what it is, is it is basically a bicep curl that combines the supinated or underhand grip with the pronated or overhand grip. So on the way up, we're going to be doing a supinated grip. And then at the top, you change over to a pronated grip and let it down. Now, why would we want to do this? Basically, it's going to get more muscles recruited and involved with your biceps. So on the way up, you're going to be using the weaker of the muscles, which is the bicep in this case, and you're going to be curling it up. So you're gonna feel everything tight here on your bicep and it's gonna be nice and balled up like you can see. And then when we change it over at the top, you can see that this bicep head is lengthening and the load is coming off of the bicep and where is it going? It's going into this brachialis and this brachioradialis muscle. So what ultimately, when you're doing this exercise, it's going to work more muscles in the arm and it's gonna be more efficient on the way down to target that brachialis and brachioradialis and it'll help to kind of fill out that bicep and build your arm up as a whole. So let's walk through this exercise. I'm gonna be using a pair of dumbbells and I'm actually using some adjustable dumbbells from Clench Fitness. Head over to clenchfitness.com if you wanna see more of this. And to set this up, I'm basically gonna start out with a lower weight. These are like 15 pounds. And what you wanna do is just like a standard kind of bicep curl, standing curl. I like to get like a shoulder width stance and pin those elbows into my side. I kind of start with a neutral grip and then I supinate as I come up. So I'm twisting out, big squeeze at the top, change over and let it down nice and slow. And then I kind of just like to do this all in one fluid motion. And as you can see, that changeover at the top is going to be kind of difficult and you're gonna start wanting to use momentum. So as you get heavier in this exercise, I'm gonna see people try to arch their back this way and then they're gonna fall forward on the way down. That's going to take away from the exercise. So the goal of course is to go as heavy as you can to put as much load on the biceps as possible, but we wanna keep momentum out of this exercise. You wanna keep a neutral spine, keep that core pulled in tight. And then another trick that I like to use is I'll put my back up against the wall to really take that momentum out. And then I can focus on solely targeting all of that into the biceps. And I kind of like to do this sweeping motion. So I come out a little bit at the, on, the, on the way up. I'm kind of flaring out a little bit. And then I sweep around at the top. Exhale on the way down. Nice and controlled. You want a big squeeze, a little pause at the top while you change over and then control it on the way down. Don't just drop it on the way down because remember, we're targeting that brachialis and brachioradialis. So you wanna be able to have a nice long period of time under tension for that brachialis and brachioradialis muscle. And remember, it's all about control, quality over quantity. Make sure that you have the form mastered before you start jacking up that weight. So how do I like to program these? What's my sets? What's my reps? I typically like to stick in that eight to 15 rep range for usually around two to four working sets. And then I also like to employ volume maximizing techniques like rest pause sets or drop sets to really squeeze that volume out and get maximum hypertrophy. So like for this one, drop sets are one of my favorites. And the way to do that, especially with these adjustable dumbbells, is you start with a heavier weight. So I'll probably start with like 25, 30 pounds and I'll pull them out and I'll do as many reps as I can. Nice and slow and controlled. Big squeeze, let it down nice and slow. And I'll go all the way till I can't do any more reps. And then we plug these things back in, drop the weight down. So I'm gonna go down about six pounds here and then do as many reps as we can. Big squeeze at the top, let it down nice and slow and just crank through these reps. And I'm gonna do one more iteration of that, pop them back in. 
and I'm gonna drop it down another two clicks. So we'll go down to like 12 pounds here. And then we'll just burn these babies out. Same thing. As many reps as you can to failure. And that is my favorite way to do the Zotman Curls. That's everything you need to know to get started with Zotman Curls. If you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, if you want to see more content like this, check out the on-screen video links. We have tons of content just like this on our channel. Furthermore, if you need any of the, the dumbbells or anything shown today in this video, head over to clenchfitness.com and we will hook you up. And thank you for watching.